Welcome friends. In this video tutorial, we'll be talking about the pyruvate dehydrogenase complex and the role of pyruvate dehydrogenase complex to produce acetyl CoA from pyruvate. The pyruvate dehydrogenase complex, or better known as PDC, is one of the central enzymes of aerobic metabolism. After completion of the tutorial, you should understand its importance of these terms that how the PDC fit into the overall scheme of the metabolism, then uh, the nature of the reactants and the enzyme complexes that catalyzes that and how the enzyme is controlled and which in turn regulates the flow of metabolites. Now we can see the overall picture of aerobic respiration that means through the glycolysis, then uh, the Krebs cycle and, and then the electron transport system to generate the final energy. And we have seen that the steps uh, are some key intermediates like pyruvate, acetyl CoA and all these things. Okay, now uh, let us uh, talk about this relevance. Okay, now glycolysis is an early metabolic step occurring in the cytoplasm of the cell where carbohydrates such as glucose are broken down by the oxidation to pyruvate, producing two kinds of chemical stored energy ATP and NADH. ATP is a high energy compound uh, and can be used directly by the cell as energy to drive cellular processes. On the other hand, NAD plus is reduced to NADH for the use of later processes of oxidative phosphorylation to produce large amount of ATP. Now the second step, the pyruvate dehydrogenase complex is the gateway between the glycolysis and the citric acid cycle for aerobic metabolism because it is all the junction between the two processes. It is a major regulatory point for metabolism like a traffic director at an, in, uh, an uh, intersection. The pyruvate made by the glycolysis is first translocated to the mitochondrial matrix before the PDC convert it into the acetyl CoA, generating the energy from the NADH. Now the third step is a citric acid cycle. It is a cyclic metabolic pathway located on the mitochondrial matrix. Carbons entering the pathway from the PDC as acetyl CoA are oxidized, resulting in the production of the energy as ATP and reducing power as NADH and FADH2. The cycle also serves as a shunt of metabolites that might be needed for other processes than energy production, such as the biosynthesis of nucleic acids, amino acids, proteins or enzyme cofactors. Because the citric acid cycle must attain to the very to verify needs of the cell, it is tightly regulated at a few checkpoints. And then finally, the the large inner ATP generating machine uh, or ATP generating system. The electron transport system is a mitochondrial process where the NADH and FADH2 generated in the prior to my metabolic steps are oxidized to NAD plus and FAD plus diving or driving the chemical reaction of uh, oxygen uh, we breathe in water. Okay reduction of the oxygen we breathe in what we breathe to towards the water the terminal electron receptor in this case uh, is oxygen the purpose for this is to convert the potential energy stored in this reduced metabolites into another form of potential energy which a cell can directly use in the form of a proton gradient across the inner mitochondrial membrane Oxidative phosphorylation is the process whereby the proton gradient is used to drive the production of ATP. Okay, so we have seen, uh, we have just talked about all the basic processes of, the, uh, of, of metabolism, right? Now let us talk about the gateway. We, we don't need to go at, we need, we'll talk about the location. While glycolysis occurs in the cytoplasm, the PDC and the citric acid cycle are located in the center of the mitochondria termed as the mitochondrial matrix. While the, the outer membrane uh, of uh, the mito mitochondria is permeable to most of the small molecules. Pyruvate has to be translocated across the inner membrane of uh, the mitochondria to reach the PDC. This is accomplished through a specialized membrane transport called the protein called the pyruvate translocase. Now if you look at the structure of pyruvate translocase, it is acting like a valve. Now when uh, I can see, when proton is moving towards it in, 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 in this uh, matrix direction, it will open in that direction and, and close in opposite side and then only pyruvate can move on to the outside of this molecule. So this, this uh, pyruvate translocase uh, protein is changing its conformation all the time when it is transferred some molecule. When it is transferring proton, that will change in its structure in such a way that proton can be carried out or, or taken out to the um, say, 
protons are taken outside of the mitochondria and then again uh, uh, right after the transport of the um, proton onto uh, the outside of the mitochondria that means the cytosol uh, uh, the, it changes its conformation in such a way that it can uh, transport pyruvate from the cytosol inside the mitochondrial matrix okay so th this is uh, happening in this way